Hi and welcome to Jupyter Multipurpose Theme. I'm Milad and in this video I'll show you how to get started with Jupyter. When you install and activate Jupyter, you'll notice a few new items on your WordPress menu. You might have already spotted Jupyter. Let's start with the control panel. In control panel, you can register the product and install the premium plugins that are bundled with Jupyter. You'll also have access to templates and product updates. Perhaps the best way to get you started on creating a site is by using a template. There are more than 150 beautifully designed templates in many categories for every taste. You can check them out here and when you install Jupyter, you'll get free access to all of them. Installing a template is as easy as clicking on the install button and once the installation is finished, your site is ready to be customized with your data. Let's view the site on front end. If you wanted to edit some options related to the whole site, it can be done through the theme options. For example, let's say we want to change the logo. There's a shortcut here to open the theme options with one click. The options are organized in tabs. So we have global settings, header, typography, footer, sidebars, and more. There's also a quick tip for each option. Let's go to global settings, open the logo and title tab, and select our new logo here. Once we click on save, the change is visible on front end. For the next edit, let's say we want to change this image on the home page. We can click here to open the page builder, then hover over this image element and click on the edit button. Now all we need to do is select a new image, save this change and update the page for front end. Of course you can add new pages by going to WordPress dashboard, pages, add new, and use the backend or front end editor to add elements to your page. We also have Jupyter styling options, Jupyter page options, and Jupyter widget options for overriding some of the default settings from theme options on this page. To add content to the page, I can use the backend editor, or if you wanted to see a live preview of the elements, you can simply switch to the frontend editor. For example, here's a blank page, and we can add a row which has one column by default, then edit it to have three columns, and then add elements to each of the columns. I add an image element to the first column, a text element to the second one and the line chart to the last one. We can repeat the process to add more content and then publish the page. Jupyter also comes with the most advanced slider plugins on the market. So you can use Layer Slider, Slider Revolution or even our own Edge Slider to give your site a unique look. Some of the templates provide sample sliders as well. Of course, there are lots of other features that come with Jupyter, like photo albums, testimonials, pricing tables, portfolios, animated columns, and more. So I encourage you to check out our main demo to see all the features in action and get an idea of what you can do with different elements. Also make sure to check out our shop customizer to see how we can take your shopping site customizations to the next level. You should know that all the topics that are discussed throughout this video are covered in depth in our knowledge base and video tutorials. So if you're interested to learn more, take a look at this page. And that's an overview on how to get started with Jupyter. We hope to see you among our happy customers. Until then, take care and stay happy.